Welcome to the Hard Hat Training Series. Today we will be discussing chainsaws. Chainsaws are some of the most widely used and efficient power tools available. They are also one of the most disabling and lethal when misused. Today we will discuss the following topics. The anatomy of a chainsaw, how to do an inspection of the saw, personal protective equipment, safe operating practices, and hazards associated with chainsaws. There are many different types and sizes of chainsaws. The purpose of this training isn't to go over all of those options, but to teach you safety principles and techniques needed to safely operate a chainsaw. Whether the operator is a volunteer cleaning up after a natural disaster, a homeowner, utility worker, or a professional sawyer, complete personal protective equipment and proper use are vital to preventing serious injury, even death. Chainsaws are relatively easy to start and simple to operate, and this simplicity can create a false sense of confidence. This makes adequate training even more important. Not long ago, a seasoned worker was in a bucket truck trimming tree limbs. He was 50 feet above the ground and was wearing all pertinent fall protection. As he trimmed a large branch, it fell on his bucket. The branch was heavy enough that it sheared through the bucket and cut through his fall protection. The branch continued to the ground, taking our victim with it. He was six months away from retiring when he died in this accident. His small, close-knit crew was devastated. This worker was practicing everything he knew about safety. Situational awareness is vital in all industries, but especially so when operating a deceptively simple chainsaw. He, had he been trained on chainsaw safety, could this accident have been avoided? We'll never know for sure, but it certainly would have helped his odds. Statistics have shown that there are certain inherent dangers associated with chainsaw operation, even during normal working conditions. A chainsaw can be a very dangerous piece of equipment. Most of these injuries and deaths are due to several basic hazards. We will discuss some of the more common hazards associated with chainsaw operations and show you how to recognize these hazards and avoid or minimize them. Additionally, due to the severe risk of injury or death from their use, you should never operate a chainsaw outside of your level of training and skill, or when you're fatigued or impaired. Taking a break can help production, as you will be able to better operate after a short break. A chainsaw in the hands of a careless, inexperienced, or tired operator can be extremely dangerous. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, nearly 40,000 people per year require emergency treatment for chainsaw injuries. These are some of the main standards concerning chainsaws. Of course, provinces and territories may have additional standards, as do some industries. We have provided these as a guide, but it's your responsibility to know all federal, provincial, territorial, local, and company rules that apply to your machine and job site. 